How the heck are you? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Rear Room Show. And I had planned today to do some antenna testing outside, but as I mentioned in the previous video, the weather is not cooperating. As a matter of fact, it's pretty bad out there. So I thought I would at least show you some of the antennas I plan on testing. And we'll start with these right here. These are from David at DRC Incorporated. He sells these on uh, eBay. And this one is just a uh, long wire antenna with some um, some accessories for setting it up in your backyard temporarily. This is a kind of a temporary antenna. And he sent me one each with different connectors. One with a stereo 8th inch connector and one with a mono H -inch, H -inch, excuse me. My <laughs> 8th inch connector. Gosh, what a bad day I'm having. Gee whiz. Okay, so that's those. This is one he just sent me yesterday. Um, kind of uh, took some of my suggestions because the problem with these is that you really can't use them inside your house if you have a lot of RF noise because there's no shielding. And so this wire, when you bring it in the house, it's going to pick up RF noise. So what I suggested to him is he provide one with some coax, shielded coax, that brings the signal into your house. So this one I can actually test inside, but of course I've got to set it up outside, which I can't do today. You probably, probably won't be able to get back to these antennas until next week. So anyway, that's that one. This one is another design. This is sent to me by W4KGH. Again, he sells these on eBay. This is an in-fed antenna. And it has a matching box right there. And the connector there to connect it to shielded cable. So I'll be checking this one out also. Covers 2 to 30 megahertz. There it is. Thank you for sending this. Thanks, David. And then the last one I'll be testing, which will take a little bit of time to set up, is this one that Richard at MFJ sent me. This is a telescopic antenna. And it's... I forgot now. 17 feet. This ain't the right one. Oh, God, what's the matter? I am not having a good day. The page flipped on me. I was, I was thinking that it's a lot taller than that. Here it is, right here. Okay, this is 31 feet. Telescopic antenna. Basically, it's a fiberglass telescoping pole with a long wire antenna coming down to the base. And then it has this little matching transformer box. I call it transformer box. That's probably not the right term. Um, and then it has these radials that you can lay on top of the ground if you're going to use this for 40 meters. That's what it's the radials are cut for, everything is set up for. If you're not, if you're going to use other parts of the band, then you just use a standard ground rod to ground this antenna. So it's good from 80 meters to 6 meters, 31 feet. This thing telescopes, telescopes to 31 feet. I, this is kind of like my fishing pole antenna, but my fishing pole antenna was only like 8 feet or something like that. So I'll well, be interested in trying this out. I've got to, uh, I've got to install this piece of tubing to mount it to, so I got to do that yet. And uh, thanks, Richard from MHA, for sending me these, these things to review. So that's what I planned on doing. Um, unfortunately, it, this is just a tease because I can't get it to it today because of the storms, which probably will last through Sunday. And then I have to go back to work on Mondays and Tuesdays. So it'll probably be Wednesday or later of next week. Sorry for this delay. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, 
please subscribe. Okay. Bye-bye.